So let's think of a particle that now is forced to live between minus L over 2 and L over 2. So the length of this region is L. And so we know that there's nothing special about these labels. The physics can't change. And so if we want to find the energy levels, they better be the same as the energy levels that we found before. But we'll notice that trying to to find them directly by applying boundary conditions here will single out the parity of the functions. So <clears throat> uh, what would that look like? So we, when we had 0 to L, right, then psi of 0 is, is 0, and psi of L had to be 0, and that gave us our energy level. So that same idea has to apply here, except we now have psi of x equals minus L over 2, that will look like, um, well, first of all, what kind of solution do we have? Well, we no longer have any reason to eliminate the cosine function, right? So we have sine and cosine function. So we have something like A sine of kx plus B cosine of kx. And the boundary condition then gives us A sine of minus k l over 2 plus b cosine of minus k l over 2, that has to be equal to 0. <clears throat> and of course, the function has to die there as well, has to go to 0 there as well. So psi of l over 2, which is a sine of k l over 2, plus b cosine of k l over 2 has to be equal to 0. Now, there are two ways of satisfying this. They can't both be 0, or right? the sine and the cosine can't both give us 0. So either we have either b equals 0 or a is equal to 0. So if b is equal to 0... <coughs> Then, so if b equals 0, then this term, this term disappears, and we have this, and therefore we have that uh, kl over 2, or minus kl over 2, not that the minus sign makes a difference, uh, kl over 2 has to have values such that the sign of these values gives us 0. So n can be 1, 2, 3, and so on, right? Pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, any multiple of pi will make the sine go to 0. So uh, the function <coughs> psi of x looks like a sine of um, 2 n pi x over l. And we impose the boundary condition. Um, right, k, uh, h bar, so the, the n's are h squared k n squared over 2m, and this gives us h squared <coughs> over 2m, k n squared is 4, uh, n squared pi squared over l squared. Um, and this overall gives us um, n squared, uh, 2 h bar squared, pi squared over m l squared. Well, we can simplify this further, or we should simplify it further, because h bar is h over 2 pi. And so there's, we don't, there's a hidden pi in here, but let's just leave it like that. Um, <clears throat> what we would see is that, um, right, n equals 1, 2, 3, we're not getting all of the energy levels. We're missing half of them. And that's because uh, we're only getting um, this, this part. There's another way of satisfying the equation, and that involves uh, b being 0, 
sorry, uh, A being zero, so let's do that. Um, so if A is equal to zero, then we have uh, KL over two is equal to, <coughs> where we have the cosine function has to go to zero, so we have N plus a half times pi, or n is one, two, three, and so on. That will do all these values, right? right three, three halves pi, five halves pi, cosine of those values would go to zero, and so psi of x would be b cosine of, um, if we multiply by two, here we get uh, 2n plus 1 pi x over L, and uh, the energy levels from this give us h bar squared over 2m, uh, kn squared, right, we're getting a kn from this, um, that gives us h bar squared over 2m, times 2n plus 1 squared pi squared over l squared and these are all of the other energy levels so um the energy levels that we got previously they, we'll, we'll have the ground level and then we'll miss the, the first excited state and then we'll get the other one we'll get every other one and then the ones in between will come from from here so uh, overall, we can say that the psi n's are either functions that involve the sine <coughs> with n pi x over L, where n is even, uh, or um, where we can use one overall n and that's odd in that case. We have a cosine function. Um, and our energy levels are uh, what we have found before. Um, of course, this quantity will reduce. We can show by normalization that it has to reduce to that. And the ENs would be uh, n squared over 2m l squared. Again, we have the issue that there's a pi in here. We can work that out. But um, what we notice from having a system where there's symmetry with respect to some point, right? In this case, it's zero then you'll, you'll, you'll get functions that have a definite parity to reflect the symmetry of, of the potential. The potential goes to infinity here and here, but it's zero here, and so there's a symmetry in, in, the, in, in the potential. 